Welcome to the Stubborn Backyard Project and today I am putting together a pergola. It's actually a grill pergola but I'm going to use it as a pergola. Uh, I have a specific spot in the yard that I'm going to put it in and I'm going to put a table underneath it instead of the grill like it actually calls for. Um, I'm doing this not really as a seating area but it's going to have a nice concrete table, real nice. It's, it's going to be used very little. I'm mostly doing it for to draw your attention to the corner. So anyway, let me show you how I'm going to put it together. Let's go. Alright, so let me show you a picture of what it looks like. It would be here somewhere. But here is the box. Here's the box. Now, the way that I like to do it is I go ahead and take everything out of the wrapper and I lay it out. I lay it out in the certain sections that it goes in just because it makes it easier to put it back together. So anyway, now let's put it back together. Or let's put it together. So with every packet of a kit, you get like certain screws. This one's got all different kinds and so on and so on. Then you get to the wonderful directions. So I try to follow the steps to the best that I can. A lot of the time, I look at a certain picture like this one because I am more of a, uh, I see it all together, uh, I can get a better visual of what it looks like. So that is what I'm going to do. Let me get everything together and uh, we'll start getting it put together. Okay, so here is one of the problems that I'm having. So I have two screws that go for this part and then I have an extra hole there. But if you look at the directions, and don't mind the rip part, this post is the one that I'm doing. It doesn't tell me if I should go into that one or to that one. Anyway, it's kind of confusing. You know what? I think I just figured it out. I think, well, no, that doesn't make sense either. Anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it together and if I have to move those, I have to move them. That's just kind of how it works. So I've gotten, so I've gotten most of this on this side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put that other side up just so it'll stabilize it and so it will be a little tighter. Anyway, all right, next step. So one thing that I've noticed doing this is whenever you start a screw, just kind of get it going, but don't go all the way. Go ahead and start your other screw, because there's two screws for each one, and go ahead and start that one, because, ah! Go ahead and start that one, because uh, you kind of have to move it around a little bit just to get it going. There you go. See, so you kind of have to move the wood, and if, or not the wood. You have to move the metal around, and if you tighten this one already, then you don't have much wiggle room. So, that is one thing that I've noticed about this project. There we go. Now I am using a Phillips, it does come with a little crowbar, but it's faster with a screwdriver. I would use a drill, but you never want to use a drill for this type of thing because you could strip it out very easily. So that is one thing that I've noticed is not to tighten one all the way until you get the other one started. So uh, let me go ahead and finish this and then uh, when I am finished putting it all together, then I'm going to go back through and really tighten them down. But I want to make sure that it's all together first. Alright, so we have it all together. I've already gone through and made sure that everything was tight. Just to make sure. So now we have to put it on the top. Let's go ahead and do that. That was a little challenging, but all right. So now that we have it all together,
All right, let me do a little close up here. So if you have a piece that just isn't quite lining up for your screw, take your, take your bit and put it in the hole and just kind of move it around like that. So then whenever you put in your screw, there you go. You go ahead and pull out my drill just because I got tired of using the manual and I put it on the lowest setting so it won't strip anything out and I went at the slowest speed. So that is the way that I was able to do it. And I'm still not going all the way until I get all of the rest of it done. Then I'll go back through and tighten them just because I know I'm gonna have a lot of moving around. So, all right, I've got three sides done. I've got three sides. Now I'm just gonna do the rest of this one and then put this one together. All right, so now that I have it up and I kind of have it up in the air, this is what I'm gonna make sure. I had to kind of make some light adjustments whenever I was putting on the top, just because I was trying to finagle the holes just to line up to where I could put the screws in. So now I'm gonna go and tighten it back up and then I'm going to put on the legs and then I get to set it up. It looks amazing though, it looks awesome. All right, so this one is a grill uh, pergola but I'm going to use it as a pergola. So I'm not gonna put on the sides that uh, it calls for, uh, just because I want it to be more of a pergola. But I didn't want the whole size of the pergola because that would have been too big. It's kind of a rough area. I'll have to show you what I mean. So even though I'm not using the sides of this, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on while I get it put in place because this just helps keep everything square because whenever I'm lifting it and stuff, I don't want it to get unsquared. Uh, and also, it'll help me attach it to my post. So, if you notice, see how kind of, how much of a gap there? Well, I'll go ahead and put this in, and it just shears it up. Like, it just makes sure everything nice and plump. But anyway, all right. So, let me get these put on, and then get to raise it up. Super excited. All right, so the pergola is finally finished. Now, I just have to move it. Ugh. I'm hoping that it's not gonna be too heavy, but if it is, so well, then I'll just handle it. But it's gotta go all the way in that far corner. So, I won't film that because uh, that could be one of those epic fails. But anyway, all right, so, let me get it moved over there. Hey guys, okay, well it's the next day, maybe two days ago, and I have the pergola all together. Voila la! Now I have it laying down because it was windy the other day, but uh, while I was up, I went ahead and put uh, place markers where everything is gonna go. So now I'm gonna go ahead and dig the holes. I was gonna do something different. I was gonna put a four by four down and then attach the pergola to that and then put stakes in. But, after rethinking it, and with the Oklahoma wind, uh, I really need to put it in concrete. Well, the downside is that I have to be so far away from the fence per code. So I'm going to do it uh, three foot, which will kind of give me like a weird space back here. But it just makes it to where I can put stuff on the fence and vines and plants and whatever. Uh, and it'll get more sun that way. So. It's not ideal, but I think it'll work out. It looks super cool whenever it's up. Like, I'll have to show you. Uh, anyway, so, all right. So here is the next part. Now, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and dig the holes. There's really no reason for you to see me dig holes, like, it's digging a hole. So, anyway, all right. So, let's get these holes dug, and I'll be back in five minutes. When in reality, it's gonna take me probably 30, but anyway. All right, well, it's been four hours. I had a little issue with getting my post lined up with the holes. Anyway, it was a big deal, blah. So let me show you what I have so far. All right, so I have my holes with the post. I went ahead and just kind of temporarily stuck them on there. Uh, I put my little nails, so when I put my concrete, it has something to hold on to. Did that with all of them. 
So one of the problems that I had is I had my holes, I put the post in and I put the concrete in. I didn't wet it yet because I just just in case I'd move it. Well, I somehow was off like 20 inches or something. So I had to dig the concrete back out. Anyway, when I say it was three hours, it really was three hours. So I'm going to put in the concrete now and then uh, I'm going to water it, let that cure up uh, and show you guys what it looks like. Oh my goodness, it is all finished. Don't mind the mess right there. I'm having other projects that I've got to finish up. But anyway, it looks awesome. I love it. Now, these are going to come off um, because I'm wanting to make it a patio. Uh, but I have to wait until the concrete sets up. And I can't decide if I'm going to put another thing of concrete in there or just fill it in with dirt. Don't know for sure. I love how that turned out. So. One of my next projects is I have to get the pond done. All right, well, this project is finished. Now I'm got, not gonna show you with the dirt and everything done because I plan on doing a video of uh, this patio done and decorated. Um, I have a concrete table that's gonna go over here, which takes like four people to just move one piece of it. Anyway, and I'm not, I'm not, excited about doing that because it's so heavy but anyway all right well i'm going to try to get one more project done today because it's so pretty out and we have a cold front coming in oh, dang oklahoma but anyway my hair is a mess all right well until next time thanks guys bye